Hey guys, how's everybody doing today? Hope you are having a good uh, Tuesday before Thanksgiving. Yeah. <clears throat> Man, I've been working hard today. Uh, me and my friends, we do a thing called Friendsgiving, where we all get together with our chosen family uh, the day before Thanksgiving and eat a bunch of food and get drunk. Well, I'm starting a little bit early. So, today, I have Vapor Trail by Rocket Republic. It's a cream ale out of Huntsville, Alabama. I'm sorry, Madison, Alabama. All right. Got a green flash bottle opener here. You know, while I'm opening this up and pouring it, I just want to give a shout out to all the folks in the uh, Craft Brew Junkies group. And you guys are fantastic. I've really enjoyed being in that group, and it's been a lot of fun uh, watching all y'all's antics. You know, you guys are pretty rad. <clears throat> so. As far as cream ale goes, um, I'm not seeing a lot of creaminess. I am seeing a good bit of carbonation. It is, I wouldn't say it's see-through, but it's pretty clear. Uh, the head dissipated maybe a little bit faster than I'd like. I mean, on the nose you get a little bit of... Um, a little bit of honey, a little bit of biscuit, maybe. Something like that. It goes down easy. Mouthfeel is um, a little bit heavier than, you know, Boddington's. It doesn't feel light on the tongue. Um, but it's very easy to drink. Very smooth. Um, the flavor is of biscuits and honey, uh, right off the nose, uh, biscuits and honey. has a malt profile that I'm not really used to in cream ales, I don't think. Um, plenty of carbonation. Um, maybe a little bit of Pilsen in there somewhere. Off the can. One giant taste for mankind. With a generous amount of honey and biscuit malts. This smooth, sweet, easy to drink ale is aptly named for the milky white lacing left behind on your glass after this beer is long gone. Which won't be long once you've tasted your first sip. It's 5.5% ABV. Uh, very normal. For a cream ale, canned on 12, 26, 16. 12, 28, 16. Um, it's a year ago. 11 months ago. I don't think it's affected the beer, um, except for maybe the head retention, but uh, I don't usually expect to get a beer that's been sitting that long. Um, I don't know if that's a distributor problem or what, but I bought this last week. Um, I'd say it is slightly overcarbonated for a cream ale. Still very easy to drink. Um, it's not light enough to be a daily drink, to be a to be a lawnmower beer, to be a drink twelve of them kind of beer. But it is definitely easy to drink enough to say, well, I've had this big whale and like this hot monster here, and I need to calm down a little bit, but I still want to drink something good, none of that shit beer. Try out the Vapor Trail; it's worth a try. Thank you guys very much for like. Thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, if it doesn't involve beer, you probably shouldn't be doing it. <laughs>